Today we are landing on a gas giant. So that might sound a little bit odd to you all, but I'm sure it will be explained in time some part in this episode. So again, we're landing on a gas giant. Specifically, there's a gas giant called Gateway, and although it's widely debated whether it is actually a gas giant or not, which by definition I suppose it might not be, but it's as close as we can get in, <laughs> in 2020. 2020 and you're still a gas giant. <laughs> But due to budget cuts, I wasn't able to hide these antenna within the craft. So I've taken my pilot with me, and we're just hoping that it doesn't succumb to drag as much as it should. And to make matters worse, not only will I be landing on a gas giant, but I'm sending a submarine as well. <laughs> oh no, everyone's gonna hate me so much. Alright, my gravity turn was not fantastic, I will be honest, I'll admit to that. <laughs> that's, that's not great. All right, I'm burning out now. Now, unfortunately, I cannot say, well, I can say, but I can't reveal what is actually inside the fairing just yet. Can't release it yet. You know, I've got I've got to enter a gas giant. Uh, for those of you who might have played uh, default Kerbal Space Program, if you've ever tried to re-enter Jewel, and oh, believe me, that's a nightmare. Well, uh, to put it into perspective, this gas giant is called Gateway, and it is, well, Jewel is 6,000 kilometers across, or 6,000 kilometers in radius. This one is 10,000 kilometers in radius, so uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a wee bit harder. <laughs> All right, coming up, we have a nice little maneuver again at night. I don't know why, it just seems to be a theme, but here we go. We're doing the maneuver. All you can see is lure in the distance on the engine. Oh, we bring in that nice periapsis nice and close, nice and close. Oh, I don't want my periapsis there. Oh. No, that's awful. I mean, I have to circularize anyway. I can't re-enter the atmosphere from all the way up here. No way. Not with how st Oh, that's going to hit the planet, though. Not with how strong Gateway is. Mmm. 2,260 meters per second. Mmm. There is no way that I can enter Gateway at that speed. No way. Can I utilize assists? That's my next question. So, uh, I'll be honest, I don't know how to gravity assist very well, but this is the setup I've got at the moment. I'd, please let me know if this is garbage or not. But, essentially, I, what I think it's doing is it's just slowing me down and kicking me out a bit. I think that will save Delta V. It was like 2,500 meters per second before. I mean, this is going to send me on a trajectory that will hit Gateway. However, I think the burn out from... Uh, the burn from Apoapsis here will cost less. See, look, I saved fuel. I saved 2,000 meters per second of fuel. I'm a genius. Sometimes my genius is almost frightening. Oh, I have made a severe and terrible lapse in my judgment. I, I didn't realize I'd be exiting quite like this. Aha, uh -huh. never mind. I think I'm going to load that one back. Nope, I found a way to actually do it. Essentially, I've just burned out again. And instead of hitting comb here, I'm going to hit it on the way into Gateway. I'm going to pass it by within or outside of its atmosphere. I'm going to leave it and I'm then going to be orbiting Gateway. Yeah, it's a fairly nice orbit, but I can just do a burn right up here to take me down to Gateway itself. All right, it is time to enter the atmosphere. And you can just see the heat shield heating up a little bit there. It's a bit red. Can't see any flames yet, thankfully. But I think we will do soon. Now, the thing that I'm not worried about the heat shield. I have three heat shields, actually. I think I got... Uh, do I have three? I think I got one, two, three. Yeah, I've got three heat shields. The thing that I'm worried about is the fairing, because if you look at that, you can just see the fairing peeping out from over it, and I think that's going to cause us a little bit of a problem. So far, I am still speeding up. I'm about 10 kilometers into the atmosphere now, and you can really see the fairing starting to heat up. Ah, that could go badly, but as long as I keep facing prograde as much as I can, I think I'll be okay. But I'm starting to slow down. How's my blade to do? Oh, my blade is almost gone. I'm about to lose the first heat shield here. I am really starting to slow down now. Well, that tank at the end is really... Whew, it's taking it. 3,400 meters per second. We're slowing down an awful lot now, I think this will be a successful entry into Gateway. But yeah, you can see the clouds down there. They're looking very gaseous, as a gas giant should. And we're about to go through the clouds. Here we go. Mm, yes, 2D cloud layer, very nice. <laughs> and there we go, 500 meters per second. Now, because it's a gas giant, the atmosphere is incredibly thick, very similar to how Jewel, uh, Jewel and Eve operate in the uh, normal Kerbal Space Program. So, what I'm going to do is, in a moment, I'm going to release the fairing. This pod is completely useless now, so I think I'm going to jettison these one by one. That was not a good way to jettison them. There we go, there's the submarine. There's the submarine inside. There's our reveal. Right, so what I need to do is I need to jettison this one, I believe. Uh, in the safest way possible. Perfect. Couldn't see anything that would go wrong with that. But here we go, this is the craft. Now, I will get rid of this tank at the end, but currently I don't... Actually, yeah, I'll get rid of it now. Why not? There we go, goodbye. <laughs> Alright. 
And we've got these two engines. Oh, we can see some of the ice pillars now. Incredible. 10,000 meters and still falling. We can see some of the ice pillars. We can see some of the, the other ice pillars that float. And I need to find a landing spot, really. I mean, I think I'm just going to go past one of these pillars. Yes, gateway has oxygen. <laughs> and we're off. Maybe not at four times time warp, but we're, we're on a journey. We're inside the gas giant. And we're going to be going past one of these ice pillars. Huge things. Now, if I had a Kerbal, I would sample it, but the Kerbal would be crushed under the immense pressure. <laughs> but yeah, here we are. This is Ozon Gateway. Now, it wouldn't be a submarine without going into its ocean. Now, the ocean behaves very similarly to the atmosphere in regards to its thickness. The atmosphere is as thick as the ocean, almost. And the ocean's mainly meant to simulate the, the change between air to water, the boundary between atmosphere and liquid, but treat it like an atmosphere if you will. But anyway, I'm throttling down, I'm getting ready to deploy the chutes, and there we go. Nice, a flip. <laughs> and uh, you can see I'm going down at a really low rate now. All right, so just before we land in the ocean, I just need to do some science because I want to make sure I might actually have to start going back up again, I'll be honest. Uh, we're getting some science. Okay, we're going back up. I don't want to go up too far, you know, you feel me? I'm going to do a mystery goo experiment as well. There we are. Okay. All right, time to land. And there we go. We have now hit the ocean. Right, so I reckon I'm going to go past each of these boulders and I'm going to land on this flat area here. I think that's what I'll do. Then I can get... So <laughs> technically, I'll be landed on the surface of Gateway, which is going to be strange. So technically, I will have landed on this gas giant. So I'm just going to get... So <laughs> what is my craft doing either? <laughs> I'm just spinning around. It's great. But yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let my craft touch down onto this rock here. And then I'll get some science from it. Deploy the antenna and transmit everything back. All right. My last quick save was before. I can't. I can't quick save down here because I'm technically moving over the surface. So I got to be careful. Got to make sure I land a nice, nice and slow. Because remember, this isn't really an ocean. It's more of an atmosphere. <laughs> It's just a very thick atmosphere. Now the thing is, if I was to use a rocket engine down here, they actually completely drop off below about 1,500 meters. So you would not be able to use a rocket engine down here, but look at the environment. This is like Subnautica at this point. I'm sure loads of people have made the comparison to Subnautica and I'm really, really enjoying them because it kind of is, you know, I wanted to make an underwater sort of world that people can explore. We're about to land. Uh, it's further away than you think. All right, here we go. And we've landed. Sweet. We have landed on the bottom of Gateway. I'll shut these down now. All right, let's open the science container. I, bl I should have rotated it the other way, I'll be honest. Let's collect these experiments here. Gateway currently uses Lathe's biome because I didn't really think Gateway would really have biomes. It might be something I add in the future, but currently I just use Lathe's. I mean, ah, well. But we've got a heck ton of science. Can I actually extend that down here? Is this gonna work? Can I can I transmit all my data? Actually, hold on. I'll cancel that. I'll collect all the data. I'll review it and I'll transmit it all like this. Right, my electric charge is on the way down. I'm still getting light down here though. It direct sunlight. It doesn't even say that it's underwater. Perfect. I don't think it's gonna be able to finish transmitting this one. Oh, I've just lost SAS. <laughs> Let's turn that back on. There we go. Okay, <laughs> I've got a signal. It's time to transmit everything. Oh, it's not in range. Am I on the back of Gateway now? I think my signal's obstructed now. Oh, I'm getting it through the relay orbiting Gateway, obviously. Right, so now it's night time. I'll warp until day. There we go. Okay, <laughs> I've got a signal. It's time to transmit everything. I have a signal with the relay. That's why I wasn't able to do it before, because the relay orbits a Gateway, and I have to wait for it to come round each time. And there we go. The submarine will stay down here for a little bit. It will, it will go on exploration missions. But because of how large Gateway is, just looking at this, looking at how large Gateway actually is, it will take time to make any progress. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Kerbal Space Program. It was probably a little bit shorter this time, uh, but I wanted to send something to Gateway and, you know, it was kind of cool, you know, being able to say I've landed on a gas giant. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Kerbal Space Program Beyond Home. If you like that, remember to leave a like and subscribe because these episodes take a lot of effort to make. And I'll see you all in the next episode.